Namaskar. Everyone wants to find peace and happiness in life. There are many different avenues to find this peace, this happiness, direction in your life. But if you do not have a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning to your life, life begins to scatter, to lack focus, to lack direction. Without meaning, people can even become sorrowful in the later years in life they may feel irrelevant they may feel as if there is no direction to their life that there is no purpose for them to be here these kinds of feelings are very difficult Many people have them, both young and old, and those in between. They come when your life force, your vital energy, is not aligned with your dharma, your sense of purpose and meaning to your life. Dharma is the law, it is the way. All things have a dharma, a way, an essence to their being, a natural rhythm to their life. Human beings share a dharma, and that dharma that is shared by all human beings is a longing for the great a longing to find that deep inner essence, that core from which you have come, that love unconditional. That deep inner essence is essential to human nature. Everyone feels a certain restlessness in their life, a certain discontent that drives drives action, drives you forward to do different activities, make different moves, find different careers. You feel a restless need to move forward. And every now and then things go very well in life and you feel, ah, a moment of contentment, a rest along the way of your journey. But then something else happens in life again is a struggle. That's the nature of life. Yet in that struggle, if there is no direction, if there's no purpose to life, it becomes simply wearing and difficult. But if you have dharma, if you have a sense of the way of your life and the meaning of your life and how your life fits into the relationship with everyone else, then you begin to feel a sense of wholeness, a sense of completeness, a sense that you're moving towards something. Your life has meaning. Your life has purpose. Perhaps you are helping certain people. You are doing some service in the world. You are doing meaningful work. Perhaps you are raising children. Whatever you are doing, if that is serving a purpose that you feel aligned with, that you feel a sense of connection to, then you feel your inner purpose of life, your inner dharma, is being fulfilled. And if in that 
purpose that you have in your life, that direction in your life, it aligns with the direction of human life towards that one source, that one goal. Then a great fulfillment happens. Meaning takes place. Meaning in life. And meaning brings a human life out of darkness, out of despair, out of irrelevance, into significance, importance, direction, and fulfillment. It brings life and vitality. So what is the meaning of your life? What is the goal to which you focus your life? Human life is an ideological flow from crudity to subtlety. There's always movement in life. Either you are moving towards truth, love, justice, peace, and that core essence of being or you are moving into illusion, confusion, greed, desire, when People become confused about their purpose, their meaning, their dharma. They sometimes turn to drugs, to alcohol, or to other activities that they go look for to take their mind off of the basic emptiness they feel. But when that emptiness is addressed, that pain is addressed within, you realize There is something deeper to your life, something more profound, something more important. You realize that deep within you, there is a reason you are here. There is a purpose to your life. No matter how much you have suffered in your life, no matter how disconnected, how difficult life circumstances have been for you. There are others who need you, who need your help. There are others who are hungry, physically hungry, mentally hungry, lost in the world. There are whole populations suffering great tragedy. And you have something to give to the world. Whether it's given in small ways or in big, you have something to give. And seeing the pain of others, seeing the needs of others, human beings, animals, plants, living beings, There is so much 
to do in this world. So much to bring life, meaning, and vitality. When you serve the living beings, whether it be to help someone in the grocery store, to help a person on the corner who's in need, to talk to a friend who's sad, or to dedicate yourself to a larger cause for human welfare or the welfare of animals or plants. Whatever you are doing, these actions bring you into alignment, these actions of service where you support living brings. They bring a sense of purpose and meaning to your life, then your life ceases to be irrelevant. It becomes important in the world. You become important, connected to others. And in your connection to other people, there is also a deeper connection to you make to yourself your life begins to have satisfaction in what you see you do for others. So even if you cannot make the circumstances in your life just as you want them, by doing service to others, you can make your life meaningful. You can find purpose. You can find direction. And when you align that with your human dharma, your Bhagavad dharma, then Bhagavad means divine, divine dharma. Then you move from your ego-centered, eye-centered obsession to noticing all the living beings around you, to noticing the beauty of the world around you, and to noticing the flow of divine grace and presence, which is all around you and within you. When you align with your human dharma, your internal yearning moves towards the sublime. And your awareness moves beyond mere fulfillment of your physical needs and your basic mental needs to a deep relationship with yourself and with all beings. You begin to access that state, that awareness, in which you are interwoven and interconnected with all life and all beings. And with this awareness, you move towards your divine nature. You move from your human nature to your divine nature. For embedded in your humanity is your divinity. 
in the love that you feel, in the ability to move your attention, your awareness from the body, from the external world of the senses, to the subtler stratums of your own being, the subtler stratums of existence, where you see that your existence and the existence of all other beings is, are interwoven. That you are not an island separate from others. You are interwoven and interconnected with all beings. Dharma is the way home. It's the way beyond your ego-oriented body-mind involvement and engagement to your true path, to your inner source. By following Dharma, you move to moksha, to liberation from the bondages of illusion to the truth of your own being, to the unitary wholeness that binds all existence and is the very source from which you have come and unto which you return. When this touches you just a little, this awareness, when your conscious attention, your awareness moves to the subtler stratum and you experience this just for a moment, your life transforms. You see that your life has meaning. You see that your life has purpose. You see that you are part of something larger than yourself, than your body-mind existence. And that this temporal life is but a brief fleeting moment in a larger context of your existence. And that your existence is not separate from anyone else's. You are part of a whole. Only because your attention and awareness has become engaged in being embodied and experiencing sensory experience do you perceive a world of duality But when you break down that illusion, then you find the truth of your being and life gains hope, purpose, direction, and joy. So never let the void of apparent illusions get you down. Always pick yourself up, brush yourself off, and find the deep path of Dharma towards your true inner light. All right.